good morning or good day wherever you are in the world. Um, today I'm in my You want to participate too. So I'm preparing hummus. I've been invited to a dinner tonight and they asked me to bring something and I'm going to make Danilo's hummus. I never did it before. It's his recipe and I just uh, usually ask him to do it for me but today he cannot. So since I'm going to do it, I thought to film myself and share it with you. <laughs> I'm not the best cook, but lately I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot. So I thought to start sharing with you some recipes, hopefully that you will enjoy them as well. And I think we can start to make it. And yes, there are also my animals here. That are my alphers. Are you my alpher? Are you my alpher? Mm. Say hi, say hi, say hi. I will wash my hands first, of course. Let's start from the ingredients. We have chickpeas, these are 250 grams. Then lemon juice, uh, uh, garlic, basil, olive oil, salt, where to make everything. And of course we will add water. Danilo didn't give me the amounts of all the other ingredients except the chickpeas, but he drew, like, <laughs> he actually drew this and the proportions. So I will walk you with me in this recipe. Okay, so we will start by putting the chickpeas inside of this. This is always really fun. Okay. Uh, then we will have to put olive oil and what Anil told me that is going to be pretty much this amount, I will say a finger. So we'll put a finger on that. This is half of a liter, this side, to make you pretty much understand proportions. So we will have pretty much a finger of oil. It seems pretty correct compared to the image. And then we have to add the lemon that is less than the oil in the drawing of Marnie. The vanilla was pretty much half of it. So we will add this. Let's see if this was enough. This is more than enough because this was yes. Then we are adding salt. We have these little spoons. Uh, how to that? He drew me proportions, but it was pretty much um, a big spoon. So I will put a big of this one, and then this one's pretty much half of it. This is basil, so I would say half of it. And garlic was even less, so I will say one third. Could even be that it was the opposite at the moment, I don't remember, but we will find out. Okay, once we put all of this, we will have to add water. Okay, now it's time for the water. What he told me that the water should be not uh, covering the entire chickpeas, but you should be able to see the water from the top, but still uh, see the chickpeas. So, we're going to try. Uh, okay. I will say that this is enough. I don't know if you can see it. It's like pretty much the same height, but I still have some chickpeas on top of it. Okay, now that we prepare everything, we're going to mix everything. Everything, everything. <laughs> so what I like to use for hummus is this one, but you can just use a normal mixer. I prefer, personally prefer this one for, uh, for hummus. So you just start doing it. Let's see how it came out. Let's try it. Mmm, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It came out really well. Mmm. so much. Okay, last one. Mm. So that was it. This is Danilo's hummus recipe that I stole. It's really tasty and what I'm going to do for tonight is to bring this. I will make it more. I will make three of these. Um, I had to make it in this amount because that's the proportion Danilo knows. So <laughs> I have to do three of these. And then I will cut some carrots and bring just carrots and hummus. And I think it's the perfect snack or in this case, appetizer. 
thank you for watching so much i really hope you enjoyed this if you're making this hummus please tag me or use my hashtag anything so i can see it i will be so happy to see people trying this recipe and i hope you're going to have a lovely day